What is good, Foundation Nation? Today, we're playing the worst course in the country. So essentially how we got here, this is a Smithfield Community Park, gorgeous park. Looks very well taken care of. I believe it's a 1.4 on U-Disc and a .5 on Disc Golf Course Review. Um, and we're here to play it. To see what's up. <laughs> we drove what's three going on. hours. <laughs> we basically we sorted by highest rating. We left rating. at six o'clock this morning. <laughs> we sorted by highest rating and then went to the this last stage. And most of them that were rated lower than this didn't exist. There was a few that existed, but they were at like elementary schools, which is like why they were low rated is because like all the holes are 50 feet, but it's for an elementary school. So that makes sense. This was the first one that was like, okay, public park, nice park, gorgeous park. I think the disc golf course has just been forgotten. And the only stipulation here is we have to play it. And then we have to give you a Ryan Trahan style, a five star review without line at the end of this video. No lies. No lies. So we are in the parking lot because Great parking lot. we're about to start Very looking nice to try to figure general. out where to go, I've got which it. is, Hold that up. was one of the big things people left a bad review is they couldn't figure out where to go. So first impressions of the UDIS, there's a nine hole layout on here. It does appear to happen in a very tight space. Okay. Because like a lot of the complaints were that it was tough to navigate and also like it was right in the middle of things. So like people were scared of hitting people. We won't have that issue. Um, we need to walk a little bit, probably a few hundred feet that way. Okay. Or three. Found the first tee pad, no problem at all. No really nice tee pad. No tee signs, but a beautiful little stroll. Really nice to little get here. Tee pad as well. Had we not wanted to shoot this video and like been looking at you disc, we would have parked right there. So convenience parking to first tee pad. There's one star, four more to go. Where'd he uh, go? Oh, is that how that works? Us, <laughs> yep, that's how it works. Earn your stars like a Mario game. Uh, <laughs> we are not aware of where the basket is here. We didn't see one walking it's over. It's supposed to be like straight in that direction. It's supposed to be 300 feet dead straight. It's supposed to be right there, you 300 feet away. You can see the vision of what this whole I can see 300 hole. feet dead straight and I don't see a basket. Hey man, we're gonna play it as it lies. Maybe it's just new basket technology. It, yeah, it, it, does, it pops out of the ground. Yep. Beautiful yeah. day here in Smithfield. He refuses to lose. Wow, is that a ver is that your verdict? No, it was my fuse. Okay, I was about to say that I'm verdict got pin. flippy. <laughs> Dude, that is so parked. Dude, I bet that's in the basket. Dude. If there were to be a basket out there, that is parked. All right, so we've arrived. Star number two comes from Ingenuity and a multi-use park. See, there was a basket right here. Instead, <laughs> they made this metal fabrication and put it into the sleeve. The sleeve that the basket was in <laughs> now houses a trash can. Which is great. We're just, it's the roots of our sport. We're playing object golf. Yeah. yeah. It's a history lesson. I bet the next hole is going to be the first disc golf basket. Probably. Oh, like a yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Hole here and there. All right, so yeah. are we saying hit the trash I can? just hit the trash can, you make a putt. Hit the trash can. It's in the same spot as it was uh, intended to be. <laughs> it's not gonna, it's gonna, not going to change anything. We're still going to probably three putt, so it's not going to change anything. Oh. Wow. Are you trying to... trying to slide it off the, the picnic table. Oh, that would have been funny. Oh, I tried. Al, you? Get some wheels. Oh, it hit it. Hit it. That's a made putt. Made putt, Bye, dog. Par save. I would have died if you airballed that. I knew that scared me. Couple pars there. Couple for pars. The Couple pars for the boys. It appears that the next hole existed potentially before ah. the park did because you throw from right there where the park starts and you throw over the entire park so that's what we're gonna do nobody in the park there's we came here really early there's nobody in the park disclaimer well we'll make sure of that before we, throw we will also make man double walking check. in the background <laughs> inside the fenced area ob yeah it's probably how the course designer intended yeah we have searched the entire creative park and playground there's no one in there three creative ob oh yeah especially yeah, if there are kids not playing worry, there are no children in <laughs> There are no children in the park. Oh, Anheuser. Wow, that was risky. Wow, you got over everything. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, that Hunter. I need to lift. Off the... Oh, it's so good. That's crushed. What are you talking about? What tree are you talking to? The one out there in that grassy field? We have decided that the basket is this beehive looking hut. You have to be in there. Oh, Hunter. Oh. Woo oh, Park, though. Oh! <laughs> Come on! That was the best putt I've thrown in a year! <laughs> this is a very confusing park because we're on this hole 
and we found a tea pad and the sign somebody spray painted on it saying that this is hole number one but hole number one's basket we'll is right there the T sign says that this basket oh, wait, is 260 feet that speed. way, but U disc says that the first hole was where we played the first hole. <laughs> so it's very, say? it is very F confusing. F there's, there's some writing. Uh, oh, maybe it tells you. us where to go. Yeah. I think it's directions. F, F U. It's, it's kind of scratched. There's F a K. U. It probably says fun. It probably says it's, fun. I think it's saying fun this way. <laughs> no A A R P. No. Oh. oh, so Not young yet. guys no, only, no. young guys only, fun this way. All right. All right. <laughs> I've heard what I need to hear. We're heading that way. Next hole, there's supposed to be a basket on there. Hunter and I are in dispute as to whether or not we're looking at one. I don't know, but there might be a basket that way. It's supposed to be 350 feet. Kind of a woodsy hole. This is that wood Kind wall. of a woodsy hole. This Look at that. <laughs> Just a wall of trees. Oh, you got birdie. Oh, heck yeah, I did. Birdie guy. This is Carolina golf. Yeah, this Carolina is just golf. pure Carolina golf. Just hit a gap here. Oh, I actually... Oh, hit a tree. Nice shot, right. Trevor. Love it. trees on the gaps. Love it. Hunter's just blitzing it. I love it. Ooh. Ding dong. Ding dong ditch. Easy pitch up from there. Uh, That's just part of the course, baby. Just part Play of the course the design. Lies. Yeah, it's like it's like uh, Eagles Crossing. You know, they all have all the props in the woods. Yeah. It's kind of like that. There's got to be a body under there. Oh, let's go, big hunt. Flex that forehand. Skip. Good shot. Let me tell you something about hole three at Smithfield Community Park, and I know this course well. You cannot be on the right side. Oh, you can't. Oh, Trev. Almost got all the way through. Do you see a basket? It's behind the tree. Okay. It's not where it is. Trevor found a tee pad. Found a tee pad. At all. Ooh. No, not a fight. Yeah. Just home course advantage. So we just put it out right there. Okay. The tee pad is right here. It's so easy to navigate. Perfectly laid out. And look, you can see the basket. A little tunnel shot. Really. Oh, over there. You know, the people that are rating this course bad are just looking at it the wrong way. Yeah. This isn't about playing disc golf. This, this is about gets... coming out and throwing from a tee pad and you just have, you can rep out so many different shots because all the baskets are right here. I think, I think this, this course a, has been played a different time every time it's getting played. I think this is a disc golf escape like, room. That sounds so fun. <laughs> like every yeah, time you come out create here, create your own course. You create your own course. Perfect safari. Like, oh, you're a beginner? Just play to the basket like 20 feet away. Or oh, just you throw your shot and convince your friends that's what you were trying to do. Exactly. Yeah, I'm gonna try and kind of like bend the forehand in now. Oh, you're gonna bend it? Bend it like Barella. Uh, Close. All right, that's get up and down from there. This is probably the best course in the area. Has you know, to when be. you when you start thinking about it, like we could have driven just as far and got to Winthrop. This thing's in a perspective. It's a local route. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh, I missed it. Ooh, oh, it's typically a portal up there. The yeah, there. Yeah, I see yeah. it now. Oh, not for hunt. Ah! Yes, for hunt. A little split grip. Split grip. Bang zone though. Dang, there's a creek points. back there. I got you, big dog. Low key, that's a great putt. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, Hunter. Oh, you'll make it. Oh, picking me up. Uh, well, that is interesting and that is evidence. Band does not have a satisfying sound. It's kind of rattles. Yeah. It's age is showing a little bit. And we would know the sound of a good band. We know the sound of a band. Oh yeah. You know, How about the cage? Let's check the sound. Connor's peeing on the path. No, that's not the path. Oh, that's not it's like a tin can. Yeah. That might have lost half a star for me. We were doing a deep archaeological deep dive, and oh. we came across this oh. very substance here. Where are you from? It appears to be some type of, uh, I'm like a British, American, Australian. Yeah, it's it seems to be some type of <laughs> frisbee golf tea pad. We only have boomerangs. Where from I'm what from. I understand on this history. Be careful because apparently there's a lot of New Zealanders and Australians that watch us. Yeah, and and I'm, I'm complimenting all of them yeah, by yeah. using both of their accents at the same <laughs> yeah. time. They don't use Zuka carts, they, they use kangaroos. Yeah. <laughs> Ride a kangaroo, put the disc in the pouch. <laughs> Save a kangaroo, ride a cowboy. That's Trevor's tea, but we're playing uh, out this gap. We keep on discovering tee pads. There's another tee pad right there. Right there. This is fun. 
We don't know. They're what like that... trap doors. See, here's the thing. I think that we're playing. I think that you. I think the real problem with this course is that U Disc hasn't up updated to the new design. I think there is a way you can play disc golf out here. U Disc has not caught on. Yeah. Yes. If I think if we just. In the woods, you can have a good time. I think well, if we just ignored U Disc, you could definitely that find the holes. That T pad to that basket, then that T pad to that basket, then the T pad we just played to the basket we just played, then came here to this. Those are holes. Like, this is a hole. This is a hole. Yeah, this is a hole. Just straight through this gap with a little hyzer on it. Just a short, chippy, chippy PA1, if you will. Getting an ace on this course would mean a lot to me. I think this is a high level course, and it's just U Disc's fault. Hard, oh, though. Hard, though. I, I want to get an ace. Getting an ace on this course would mean everything. <laughs> That'd be funny. Ah, oh, big hunt. We suck. Give me the, do the exact same thing, I think. Oh, you didn't You didn't hit the backspin tree. Oh, no. There's the backspin tree. <laughs> There's a padlock on this gate. Should we try and guess the code? Everybody gets one guess. Could you imagine? It's 894. No. That would have been electric. I want to put mine in. Okay, I'm going to go with... Oh, you're going to try and pick it. I'm going to try to do the same thing. I like zero. Seven, four, zero. Are you ready? We've got basically the correct hole here for hole six. We're just going back down this open fairway, and then it's immediately on the right. 440 feet. You got this nice path that we're throwing. Yeah, we got a path. Really great forehand. I threw it well, didn't I? Oh, I... I'm you're probably in that trash pile. That trash pile. Yeah, also. perfect. Great treasure. Big boy. Ooh. Oh, oh fence shot. We can't find Trevor's disc in the trash pile, unfortunately, so he has to re-team. But he definitely landed right in that trash pile. Back in the trash pile. Nope. Nice. Oh, shoot. I did not go to plan. <laughs> wow. Is that fair? <laughs> Tough man. Oh, I love it. Hmm. What we're experiencing is like what in 200 years what it's gonna be like to walk around like Maple Hill. Like, oh, I can still see the remnants of a T sign here. It's a ruins. You're gonna have to blur out some words on that. 330 foot, a little lamp pole, a little pedestrian to avoid. Oh. No big deal, just get tucked into the woods down there. No big deal, ignore the basket you can see. That is not the basket. I'll just throw it on. Oh! Wow. All right, all right. I'm just, I'm just built to play at good courses. I'm not. That's my first forehand, I think. It hurt. Ever? Ever. <laughs> you can tell oh, me dang. how I threw it. That wow, the okay. Yep. And a crick. Wow. Shot. Good you. shot, Hunt. Trevor landed in this nasty scum water. I, this is disease ridden, to say the least. Yeah, it's ridden of disease. This park was really beautiful, and then we went to the outskirts of the park to play disc golf, and now it's scary. Mm. So oh, a party trick. Whoa, what was that? Oh, dance. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, over here in Trevor Town, Trevor lost the disc, but he found a sippy cup. I scraped the disc to where it's right in front of me. I can't see it. I just traded for that disc. What a fun. Did you watch it? No. It was a scuba. <laughs> <laughs> that was I love cool, this Jeff. sport and everything in it. Bye bye, Warbird. Does this teapot look familiar, Connor? Uh, no oh, one. This is the same teapot we played before. Almost the same hole, except it goes left instead of right. It's like the same as it was earlier, except we're missing one red Warbird. And I'm a little sadder and just tired. Oh. The visor is changing the yeah, longer the you're in the Yeah, the visor are changing, but then Trev did make a Scooby. There and I go. did get to go to the bathroom, which was really nice. I haven't yet. Oh no, Trevi Devi. Trevor. Well, I'd like to be perfectly fair and say, there, though we have been playing, so there is no OB on this course. I, I'm losing all my discs. Where? How far is this hole? And my marbles. What I, basket are we going to? There's, there's three one, baskets on the left. There's only one more basket that I can. All the way at the end. It's all the way down there okay. on the left, and it's dirty three times. You're right. I forget. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
my gosh. <laughs> what do you think has a worse rating? This course or these bogey bros? Am I right, boys? <laughs> Oh no. Get out of that. That's one way to do it. Alright, I can get up and down from there. Over here. But oh character. Oh. But, really good shot, honestly. I didn't make it. Good though. Hole nine doesn't seem to have a basket, so instead we're playing from this is clearly laid out to be a tee pad. Mm-hmm. Either that or it's the most lucky fall of all time. It's a shallow grave. And there's a basket uh, by that like curvy tree down there. Yeah, Gosh, right there. Nice. Oh, do it. Oh, oh my gosh. I cannot believe that did not hit the basket. I had to close. Oh, I got crushed okay. by the leaves. Ooh. That, that, those leaves, man, they are strong. Bada-bing. Woo wee! Did my job. Job done. Been doing this whole time. Been you applied the pressure. He applied the pressure, everybody. Pressure's been applied. Wow, turkey, turkey. Here's a five-star review that I'm gonna leave for this course. Big government clearly interfered and destroyed what once was a great disc golf course. It's a miracle they were able to improvise and create something this good with such little notice. My five star is this course takes disc golf back to what it should be. Ignore the GPS, ignore the phone, oh, like ignore that. the signs, and get out and let your free spirit fly like oh. the Frisbee down the fairways as you find your way through the woods of this quaint community park in Smithfield. That was inspiring, I'm gonna cry. Mine is you can make your gas money back on the amount of aluminum cans you can trade into the recycling place. Five stars. Five stars. Five stars. Two Michelin stars. Wow! Yeah, I said it. Let's eat. <laughs>